Hi y'all, this is Emma Sarah and I am back. If you didn't get to watch my other videos in the series, please just do a replay. So, I told you about ditching and switching in my last videos, but I missed something that was so important y'all, okay? I was talking about knowledge being power and boy was it empowering, okay? Knowledge is power, okay? And knowledge gives us power to be empowered. And what happened with my stories, I got empowered. I got empowered to make a change. I got insight and I made a decision to make a change so I could have a different result. Why? Because I live by this the saying, okay, the saying that I am always teaching everybody that I come across with. If you always do the same thing, you will always get the same result. And I was tired of my my current situation, so I decided to make a change so that I could get a new product with my life. And let me tell you, baby, the fruit was good, okay, because why? I can sit here and tell you I'm not, I no longer have these food allergies, I don't have candida anymore, I don't have severe bone pain, I don't have severe headaches anymore. My knowledge that came you know from all my studies empowered me to be free okay I keep saying be empowered but you're like empowered for what empowered to be free empowered to feel well empowered to have energy empowered to live the best life that you can live why because I wrote a book and part of my big thing is live the life you want to be remembered for okay you don't want to be remembered because you are sick all the time you want to be remembered for how you gave to people and how you are vibrant in life so one of the things I want to talk to you all about, we talked about ditching and switching before. This time I want to talk to you about purity. Why? Because there are a lot of companies get on, on that bandwidth, bandwagon and they're seeing that this sector of, you know, people are trying to get healthy. And so, you know, unfortunately, these big companies, they take advantage of the situation. They start slapping labels on things and calling it natural and pure, you know, putting a green, a whole bunch of green on a label. Okay, green labels doesn't mean that it's good for your body. So, an example I want to give to y'all is I went to a conference and there was a makeup company and that was advertising there so I figured it's a good company or it's a good conference so they must be producing a good makeup if they're advertising over there. So anyway, I mindlessly ordered some makeup, some natural, it said natural mineral makeup and I was so excited to get this new makeup to try out. Got my package, but I'm an investigator, okay? Like, I'm. Oh, my noodle is always on. I don't turn it off, you know? So I got my package, and I noticed that the um, manufacturer wasn't where I ordered my makeup from. So I thought, well, I'm interested to know where my makeup's coming from if it's not from the company that I ordered it from. Where is this, you know, from? So anyway, I looked at it, and the company was a no-label brand. What does that mean? That means that they produce makeup, you put your, you slap your label on it, and then you call it your own. And this is problematic for me because, once again, it's about integrity, right? So I want to look further into the makeup products. I start looking at ingredients and everything, looking on Skin Deep. On, you can find that on Google to, to check my numbers on some of the ratings. And some of the ratings were like a 7 for some of the makeup. And when you see makeup that has a number 7, that's, that, that is like a bad number. A 7, 8, 9. Th that means there's toxins in there. There's endocrine toxins. There's neurotoxins. There's possible cancerous things in there, allergens in there. So anyway, um, all that to say that just because something is touting mineral or natural does not mean that they are truly natural. Now, just to give you a little extra information, in Europe, they have, I think it's 11 or 1,400, it's around there, of things that they have banned as uh, toxin, potential toxins in everyday products. They just cannot put them in there. They say they're toxic for you and for you and for whoever, you know, for anybody who's using them, potentially. So, the U.S., however, only has 11. You heard that. One and one, that's only 11. That's a big gap in between that would allow for chemicals and toxins to get into your products that you're using every day. They, they actually say that, well, one of the stats is that the average person puts about 300 chemicals on their body before, you know, by the end of the night. And 80 of those are before breakfast. You know, you just imagine teeth brushing, hair washing, shampoo, body lotion, cologne, whatever. Okay, you guys all get the point. So I just want to make the mention on the um, purity, purity, that's why I want to talk to you today, is that Young Living is pure, a pure product. I chose them because of their purity, okay? I did a lot of research for many years. I tried a lot of essential oils. I did my homework, okay? And nothing compared to the purity in Young Living's essential oil. They have a seed to seal guarantee. From the seed, when it's in the, placed in the ground, that little seed 
Okay, that little seed is um, already being licked at, okay? They don't use GMO, they don't use hybrid, and they take care of those seeds when they put it in the soil. The soil is taken care of. They don't use pesticides to grow their, their herbs and plants that we get into essential oils. And then all the way, it says seed to seal. The, the seal is once your product is sealed, okay? Or I could even use this one, Power Guys. Once it has a seal on it, okay? And there's actually a little stamp here. You, See if we can get it to focus on here, right there, and that is a seed to, that says seed to seal on there, so it's not going to focus for, for us today, but anyway, it says seed to seal, and it's quality commitment, okay? So when you see that, you know that they're committed to you. Why? Because they're putting the consumer before the almighty dollar. Um, the founder, Gary Young, has been quoted as saying that he's never made an essential oil for the profit. He's always done it for the consumer and what it'll do for your body. So remember, y'all. Not everything that says natural and pure is natural and pure. Do your homework. Find companies that have you in um, at, at their best interest. It's, if it's a big commercial company that's already blown up and then all of a sudden they have a natural product come out, I would be very cautious about that, and I would really do your homework. And so I'm Emma Sarah. Be empowered because knowledge is power to empower. Okay, what for what? For you to be free. Go out there, do something different so you can get a new result. I'm Emma Sarah.